I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and today we're gonna work on postage stamp blocks, which is something that if you're a quilter, you're probably pretty familiar with. We're gonna be working with strip sets, and I'm gonna give you tips, and you can use those tips in this quilt or in lots of other quilts. The pattern today we're working with is called Postage Stamp Journey, and we have two free patterns. One uses a honey bun, and one uses a jelly roll. If you wanna turn these blocks into a quilt, we also have a low price pattern at Fat Quarter Shop. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let's get started building these blocks. Now, we are using a honey bun, and for one block, you just need nine rectangles that are one and a half by nine and a half. From here, I'm gonna just divide out and pick the pieces that I'm gonna use for my block. So I've selected nine prints that I wanna use for one block, since we're demoing just one block today. What I'm gonna use is this one and a half by 12 and a half inch awesome ruler by Creative Grids because you won't have to think. What you do is just put your nine and a half over here, trim one side, turn it around, and trim the other side. Now. We are going to be making this slightly bigger, so when you cut the nine and a half, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna discard some. So you're gonna do that on all nine and then just save your leftovers for another block. So for one block, we need nine, one and a half by nine and a half inch rectangles of prints. Now let's cut some background strips. From your background, you need to cut the same thing, nine, one and a half by nine and a half inch strips. And to do that, I'm gonna cut three one and a half inch strips and then sub cut down. Now when you're working with a postage stamp block, I would do a background that is very plain and doesn't have anything except one color. That way your postage stamps will really stand out. If your background is too busy, your block will get lost. So I'm gonna cut at the one and a half, the three inch, and the four and a half. And then from here, to make it easy, you can just stack these. Like I said, we're gonna be trimming down slightly so your nine and a half doesn't have to be exact. So from here, you can just trim all of these down and you will only need nine. And then we can build our block. So now I'm going to lay out all my background fabrics where everything is face up. That way, when I sew my block together, I don't sew the wrong side of the fabric into my block. The postage stamp block uses two different strip sets. One is a print strip set, and one is a background strip set. So let's start with the print strip set. This one will use five prints and four backgrounds. I like to use a design board to lay my fabric out because it's easy to take it to and from my sewing machine and to and from my iron. And also, if you lay them out, you can make sure you like the color placement before your block is sewn together in case you wanna move something, like if you have too many reds together. So five prints, four backgrounds. I've separated my blues and my reds so that it's not too heavy in one color. And before I go to my sewing machine, I'm going to pin here. At the edge of your honey bun, there are these pinked edges. You wanna put your white background fabric on the edge of those. And I'm just gonna pin at the beginning and the end. And actually, these don't have to line up perfectly because we're gonna be trimming down later. When I go to the sewing machine, I'm gonna chain piece these four together. I'll show you what that means. And I'm gonna use Aurifil Color 2000. It's my favorite Aurifil color, and that's why I'm using it. When I'm stitching, I like to use a 1.5 stitch length. It might be a little small for some, but I prefer my stitches nice and tight. So you can see that between each of these strips, I have kept thread together. That's called chain piecing. 
I'm going to cut these apart and we're gonna work on ironing. So I have my pieces here and I want to press toward the print, but first I wanna set the seam. So I'm just gonna press nice and flat, that locks your stitches in. When I press, what I like to do is finger press first, put the tip of your iron right on that seam. And then if you want it to stay nice and flat and not pop up, you can always put a Riley Blake quilters clapper on top and the wood is gonna absorb the heat and your little piece will be flatter. So I did notice in the previous step that my honey buns were just a tad over one and a half inches. And so here I'm gonna trim. So this should be one and a quarter inches wide. So I'm gonna use that same Creative Grids ruler, put the one and a quarter inch line right on that seam and trim. And you will see very little comes off but that can make a small difference in your block. So this is not 100% necessary. It's just something that I will do because it will make putting the block together a little bit easier and a little bit more accurate. One question that I know that I'm going to get is can you starch a honey bun or a jelly roll? And you can because when you starch those, they will shrink across the length instead of the width. So you can starch when you're doing this project. So as I'm putting my pieces together, I'm going to start from the top, put right sides together, pin, and I am going to build the block from the top to the bottom. So I have my block all pieced and what I want to do is start ironing at the bottom. So I will take the first piece that's not ironed, set the seam, press toward the print and just do that for the entire block. So we made the print strip set and now you want to make a background strip set using the same techniques. You just have five background strips and four print strips. And you need one of each of these for each block. And now I'm gonna show you how to cut these down into strip sets. What I'm gonna do is put the one and a half by 12 and a half inch ruler. I'm gonna line up on some of the seams and just trim a little tiny piece off. Rotate your mat and you just need five of these. This will go away. You're not gonna use it. And you don't even have to think. So you're gonna cut five of these And then you're gonna take the background strip set and do the same thing, but you're gonna only cut four strip sets from this one. So here you will build your block and you will notice that I have alternated my five print strip sets and I've alternated my background strip sets and that way the fabric kind of flows and nothing touches. Now to build your block, it's very easy. The most important thing is going to be pinning. So put two of your pieces right sides together and I'm gonna pin at the beginning and the end and we're gonna pin in every intersection. And to do that, because you have ironed toward your print, these will nest. So you just lock them in place and pin. You will do that for each section on the block. When you're sewing the block, use a quarter inch seam allowance and just pull your pins out right when you get to it and build your entire block and iron it the same way you did the strip sets. 
The postage stamp journey block is great for beginners and you can see what a beautiful block it makes. And if you look at the quilt behind me, which is how we set the block, you're gonna love that setting because it's on point and it really makes the blocks shine. We can't wait to see all of your quilts, so make sure to share them with us on social media. And we have several other nine patch blocks in our classic and vintage series. So check out that playlist and I'll see you next time.